As Ndola prepares to host the battery manufacturing plant following the recently signed deal between Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo, ideas are already flowing on making the project a success. Alex Mlenga, a first-year student at Northern Technical College in Ndola, has designed a solar-powered vehicle. His Jeep design is from the scratch using scrap metal. I think it's our duty as youths to make the actual prototype so that someone out there can come on board and empower us and actualize that project. I got some material from the scrapyard, I started making and surprisingly I struggled with the design of the vehicle until my mom actually drafted the design of the vehicle and he noted out a few technical issues. So the project kept on developing until it reached the stage where I could do just put batteries and run the project. Mm -hmm. So um, my family has been my main sponsor. This vehicle does not have so many mechanical compartments and arrangements, but for Alex, he has a big dream. I want to see sponsors come on board I don't want this project to die at this stage. I want to partner with companies so that we produce these vehicles in our country and in Africa as well. For the lecturers, this project is an eye-opener in saving on energy and promoting renewable energy. So what we intend to do is uh, go into uh, renewable energy, for example solar. So we're trying to encourage our usage of cheap energy or rather free energy, say from the sun, and then convert it to usable energy. For example, now our car, our vehicles. Martin Casonso, who is the principal at the institution, this project resonates well with the government's program of manufacturing electric vehicle batteries. So for us, we are, we are very excited and uh, that our students are engaged in such projects because it resonates very well with government's program. As you know, Ndola has been identified as um, a host to the manufacturing of the uh, electric vehicle batteries. Given the support, Alex's project would make Zambia as a case study in mitigating the effects of fossil fuels on the environment. Obinato Saili, ZNBC News, Ndola.